All right. Let's uh let's move on. Let's move on to the little you mentioned DJ Moore. I thought this cat looked as advertised. I mean, he looked he looked like he should look. I mean, he looked fast, he's thick up, he's great after the catch. He's basically a big play waiting to happen. It's hard to get his hand it's hard to get a hand on him. And I mean right. stock up, I mean, I'd be even be interested in redraft. And some DJ Moore a little yeah, late, later. Yeah, yeah, a little later. Uh, I mean, I think that it's I was telling Casey this right after the games happened. Like it's when you see DJ Moore in the Panthers uniform in that blue's my favorite color, but a good looking blue uniform. <laughs> you, you see him with the ball in his hands, he looks fun. He looks yeah. really, really fun. And I know I give you know rookie wide receivers a hard time. I still with the way that offense well I what I think that offense is going to look like it's still hard for me to expect much out of him on a week to week basis. There's, I expect not to not have a lot of consistency because like Casey said, you basically have redundancy at Christian McCaffrey and DJ Moore, And then to a lesser lesser degree, you got Curtis Samuel and then you got Devin Funches who could be a red zone threat. And then you got Greg Olson, who's a target magnet. Who's a middle of the field threat and a red zone threat. And and then you you got CJ Anderson and you got Cam Newton can run it into it. So it's, they got, they got talent. They got talent everywhere. Good for the Panthers. They brought in Torrey Smith as well. A field stretcher. Who's also a big play to take away more red zone targets for any of these guys. And you also, they have Jarius Wright who came over and has been with Norv Turner forever. Yeah. Like, I'm not like Jarius Wright's not going to come in and do anything crazy, but Jarius Wright's going to be on the field at some point. Yeah. And he knows what's going on, and he's probably going to move the chains in some decent spots for the for the Panthers well, here. So there's just a, there's a lot of things well, going on here. Jarius Wright doesn't scare me, but you're right. He's proven veteran, and he's and he's definitely underrated. He's been underrated his entire career. Torrey Smith, the, the argument can be made that the clear out point would actually clear up. You know, the fact that he can get down the field fast would clear up some of that middle of the middle of the field action. But yes, you're right. All it takes. But one, those big plays where he scores in in one play exactly. takes away from if he, Christian McCaffrey getting four targets down the field. Exactly. If he and Cam take get together on that, I'm Ted, not saying Torrey Smith is going to just no, be but, a what, machine. But, but two years ago, Ted Ginn and Cam Newton were crushing. And killing drive, you know, finishing drives in the end zone from sixty yards away, mm-hmm. and wait, like just like you said, all that does is take two or three carries and two or three catches away when that happens. I mean, great for you know the Panthers, and again, like I was just now saying, like great for the Panthers with all this talent all of a sudden in offense, and this is good. They're retooling and trying to figure out how to preserve Cam Newton's career, but in the meantime, I mean, he's got to do that himself, right? Well, that's and true. That's what the the last piece of that whole page is: is can he help preserve himself? Um, but just like back to DJ Moore here, it's like, this is what I love about the preseason is we've done so much research on all these rookies and we are on record about how we feel about all of them. And then you get to finally watch them in an NFL uniform in pads, no padless practices going on here. Like they're lining up guys are trying to earn roster spots and they're out there on the field. And it's just, it's, it was reassuring to see DJ Moore on the field, looking good, breaking tackles. Yeah. Being fast, like Absolutely. he looked, ju- he just looked awesome. And it, it, you know, yeah, there's a lot of mouths to feed, and there's a lot going on in this offense. I understand that, but when it comes down to like dynasty and my rookie pick or my, you know, startup or whatever, my rookie player, I, I really liked what I saw from him, and it yeah. was encouraging to see. No, for, for sure. sure. I mean, what what Norv Turner, like the the biggest one of my biggest takeaways from this whole game is watching that broadcast and and hearing the players talk about what Norv Turner's trying to do with this offense, not coming in and blowing up this whole offense and saying I'm putting you know pounding the table and saying I'm putting North Turner's offense in this he what he's going to do is he's going to take out the stuff that didn't work add stuff that he likes but keep doing everything that works and play to Greg like Greg Olson was like you know Norv's expecting a high you know efficient or a high uh, work ethic out of me and and you know expecting the world out of me but he's also not coming in here and taking away the things that I've done well in the past right he's working to my strengths and you know he's a tight end friendly guy Norv is absolutely um, and the other thing Norv wants to do is is take those quick efficient short shots and then stretch the field Mm -hmm. so i mean all the parts and pieces that he has around him are great for that i'm not saying that there's any you know he's got a bunch of run after the catch short kind of intermediate guys and then and then he's got got some burners and he's got some big guys tory smith to to 
you know, so yeah, I, I like they got the all the, They got all kind of weapons. They right. got a variety of weapons. They got different games. They can game plan specific if they can get on a you know, Patriot-esque level there. They got the quick guys. They got the short guys. They got the tall guys. They got the DJ Moore, the tween. He can do it all. He can go deep, and he can catch it across the middle like a tour. Like Take a, a screen to the tank. house. Sure, they do they worry do about all. this offensive line you right have now. To. They, lost, they had some big pieces leave, and then they, got, they just lost another guy. Um and I, I've never been a guy two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, you know, and so they're just they're they didn't have a strong offensive line to begin with, and now they've got some parts injuries. And injuries are sp- starting to pile up, and th- that's going to take its toll. Again, Cam can help, you know, limit, offset some of that, offset that, limit that. But it's still you gotta you gotta at least respect that offensive line problems coming up. 